forecast with meteorologist Jackson Chastain starts now. All right, Jackson, we're still dealing with those hazy conditions. Any chance of that disappearing by, by the 4th? We have a really good chance, and I would say probably within 12 to 24 hours, you're going to see significant changes towards the better side uh, because the past few days, it's been pretty bad. But with storms today and through the next several days, uh, you know, that's really going to help us clear things out. Now, today and this morning, it was still kind of hazy. It is still kind of hazy right now in places like Lancaster. Other places such as Chambersburg, not so much, but Chambersburg is actually in the path of some of these storms that I'm speaking about right now. So you can see them just starting to make them way, make their way eastward into our western half of the viewing area. That will be good news uh, for any of us folks who can get that rain. But alas, if you're not getting that rain now, you actually do have a decent chance at least throughout the night because uh, all the way basically until the the morning time we have chances for scattered showers and storms as temperatures drop down into the low 70s. It's going to be a good day to maybe look for some rain here and there because we desperately need it. Number one, number two, if we can clear out that smoke, all the better. It's going to clear out probably in the next day or so. Uh, but again, the more rain, the better. It's hot down in the south. We don't want that. Thankfully, we're not getting that until later in the week. I'll talk by in that in a second, but you can already see the change that we're seeing where smoke right now it is starting to clear out and as it gets through the next few days, it's going to clear out basically completely. So by the time you get to your Monday, we are all good to go. By the time you get to your Sunday, things will have already drastically improved. So we're looking, uh, we're, we're on the upward swing here in terms of seeing much better air quality. Uh, part of the reason for that is we have a chance for severe weather. That's really, or we're kind of on the outskirts here with this threat, but still some potential for stronger winds, maybe some isolated hail, maybe some heavier downpours. The timing for that is really going to be an all day affair and it begins kind of tonight, not the severe threat, but the storm threat, which goes throughout the night into Sunday morning and afternoon. You're going to start to see some more of these storms starting to fire in the evening on Sunday, and then you get into the overnight and you could still see some storms going on here and there. So something to pay attention to as you get through the next several days. As for your 4th of July holiday, it's going to be a hot one, but I think it's manageable. We're not expecting any rain. We don't have any smoke, so I think it's probably about as good as it gets because after that, uh, Taylor, you're at 92 and uh, just not as good. And then you dropped down to 82 on Saturday, so that's good there. But overall, we can get the rain, clear out the smoke, and then it really heats up heading into next week. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Jackson. And let's send it over to Allie with a look at sports.